Hey everyone, welcome back to another Monday Makeup Lesson. Today I'm doing the most requested Monday Makeup Lesson in a very long time, and it's how to deal with uneven eyes. So the very first thing that you wanna do is to figure out which eye do you want to match. Is there an eye that you prefer, or is there an eye that's gonna be easier to change? For instance, sometimes it's easier to make a bigger eye look smaller to balance off with a smaller eye, or to make a smaller eye look bigger to balance off with a bigger eye. Try changing one eye to match the other, and then try changing the other eye to match the other one and just see which one is easier and which one comes out more even. Let's start off with big and small eyes. So if you want to make your eye look bigger, we basically apply a lighter color on the waterline and then really curl those lashes and apply lots of mascara. So now that you've made your smaller eye look bigger, how do you make sure it balances with the other side? If you apply your makeup completely differently, they're still going to look uneven. So the best tip for this is to first of all keep the waterline nice and clean. You don't have to apply a lighter color, just keep it clean with a q-tip and that will still add the balance on the waterline and maybe not curl the lashes as much as the other side. So you still get a little bit of a lift, but your smaller eye is still looking a lot bigger. So it's gonna add that balance in. Alternatively, making a bigger eye look smaller to balance off with a smaller eye can sometimes actually be even easier. I find the best way to do this is to apply a black on the waterline. This will instantly enclose the eyes and make them a little bit smaller. However, on the other side, which is your smaller eye, you might not necessarily want to apply a black because that will just want again make this look even smaller. So what I would recommend is going for either a very sheer wash on the waterline of a black or using sort of like a dark brown instead, something that's not as harsh. And this will still add the same look but a different technique so that they'll still end up looking the same. So the next technique is for hooded eyes. So if you have one eye that's hooded and one eye that's not or one eye that's slightly more hooded than the other, this technique is for you. It's a little strange but bear with me. What I want you guys to do is to take the more hooded side, whatever I'm makeup that you think just complements that eye the most, you do that. And I want you guys to do exactly that on the non-hooded side. And you might be thinking, but that's just going to make it look a lot more obvious. And yes, it will until you do this final step. What I want you guys to do is take a pencil brush and a satin eyeshadow, exactly the same shade as the shade that you're using in the crease on the hooded side, and work this across across the non-hooded eye at the same level as the hoodedness is on the hooded side. So you're basically going to draw in a fake hood. Plus you, it's easier to create a slight hood on one side that's not very hooded to balance off with a very hooded eye. Give it a go and let me know if it works for you or if you have any tricks on hooded eyes leave a comment. The next trick is for anyone who has more lid space on one side compared to the other. The easiest way to trick the eyes into looking a lot more even is to create a line across one eye and then on the side that you have a little bit more space, create a slightly thicker line. And this will create the illusion that the lid space is exactly the same on both eyes. And liner is also great for anyone with a slightly rounder and then a longer eye. If you want to balance these off, there's two ways that you can do it. Either at length to the rounder eye, this is dragging the eyeliner out a little bit further on one side compared to the other, or bring the eyeliner up slightly on one side, make it a little bit fatter as you draw it outwards, and this will create more of a rounder shape on the longer eye. So those are just some of my favorite tips and tricks on how to deal with uneven eyes. If this helped you out, please give this video a thumbs up. You can also share some of your own advice in the comment section, or if you'd like to ask me a question, I am here to answer them. You can also send them over onto my Instagram as well, where I try to reply to as many people as I can on there too. I will see you guys in a video on Wednesday and Friday, so I'll talk to you then. Make sure to check out the videos on the screen, and I will see you next time. Bye guys.